share with us. I'm really excited. So, because I know it's a gift from God. Amen. Amen. First of all, I want to give God all the glory because he's ahead of my life. One thing I found in life is, is when you just do your prayer, you believe in your prayer, and then you do all the work that you can do, and you can't do no more, you sit back and watch God do his stuff. I want to thank God for touching certain spirits and souls before I even get started on what I have in my hand. And one is this lady. He touched many people uh, and inspired them to see what I have here. What I have here is something I'm, first of all, I'm born and raised in Los Angeles here. In 1965, I lived on 160th Century Avenue doing the watch riots. When the National Guard was called in, me and my little brother, we would look down on Central Avenue and see them look like G.I. Joes out there. I was incarcerated during the Rodney King ride. I was over at Peter Pitch's Honor Ranch. The Mexicans in that jail, when, when the TVs was on, during that riot, they was running through there with burning sheets. They did more than the brothers for Rodney King. Um, but I straightened my life out by the grace of God, you know. I turned my life around because he turned me around. Yes. I had a back injury in 2001. I worked for Time on a Cable. I was up on a pole doing insulation. I haven't had a regular job since 2001. Look how far God has gotten me. But every day while I was recovering, I watch the news every day. There is nothing good on the news. Violence has escalated to an all-time high on this planet. People are not getting along, even in their own home. Over the last 40 years, the violence in just Los Angeles with the gangs alone, black on black, the mindset has changed on the way gangs have done business. So I prayed about it and, and God led me to write a book named Regulate. This is a word we use every day in our life, whether you're taking care of your business, somebody is out of hand, something needs to get done. It's a way of life. It's more than an eight-letter word, but to have the audacity for me to put the manual up on it, I'm going to get to you, <laughs> Reverend, why the manual is on there, and you're going to love it. <laughs> is, while I was sitting here, and I'm looking at, in the beginning, in the early 60s, and even before that, when gangs were about, they were about protecting their community keeping outsiders from coming in, breaking in homes, watching out for our women and kids so they won't get raped, people won't get robbed in our community. But a lot of things have changed. Uh, 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 divided conquer has taken over. Uh, racism and the weapons that are used within those realms have been thrown into our neighborhoods. And we ourselves are our own faults because we fell asleep when our parents and our grandparents left the South to come out here to Los Angeles in California, they said, we're going to take our kids to the best place on this planet with the greatest opportunity to make something out of themselves. But we fell asleep. And it wasn't, you know, we just didn't fall asleep easy. We would do. We fell into the heights. We got into the drug game, the money game, all these things. We thought we can have this instant gratification. But I wrote this book regularly. And the reason I wrote it is because with this word, say for instance, you're laying down, you're watching your favorite TV show. Kids home, you gotta go to the store, the house is dirty. Oh, I gotta go to the store. I need to get up and clean. I might, if I, and these 
these words here, they're just very limited. But this word here, when you say, I'm going to regulate and go to the store. When you say, I'm going to regulate and clean the house. I'm going to regulate and pay my bills. If you can just imagine that mindset right there, you're going to get up and get it done. So I wrote this book because we all do the same thing every day. We get up, we live, we eat, we work, we want to play and take care of what we have to take care of. Mm -hmm. But because we are strangers to each other, and that's only in the flesh, not in the spirit. Yeah, yeah, say that. We look at each other, and, and when I was a boy, it was okay to go down the street and say hi. Yeah. Nowadays, yeah. we don't, <laughs> especially black on black. I have something written in this book. Um, when you get to racism, I broke racism down into four ethnic groups. I have the white races, hmm. the Hispanic races, the Asian races, and the black races. When I'm speaking to the black races in here, I have a statement in here. When I'm talking to the brothers, I say, you are the prime species for the hunt. Hmm. Everybody gunning at you, and we gunning at each other. Now, you know, that's a little bit worse than Custer hmm. going down to the little bighorn, you know? <laughs> Everybody getting at you, but imagine you and your own army yeah. killing up each other. Yeah, yeah. So what I did in this book, I went through the history on how we got from then to now. Mm -hmm. In these last 40, 50 years, and even the history goes even farther as you get into this book. And what I did was, once you know where we came from, and how we got to where we are in these last 40 years, we can bring about solutions yeah. with our differences. Amen. And we're no different at all when we break it down to our skivvies. Bless you. <laughs> you know, so I wrote this book so we all can get on the same page in life. Right. You can come out the house, and, and, I'm, and I'm living way across town. I come out the house, I know about you. What's happening, sister? You said, what's happening, brother? And we can go on about, and like was said earlier in one of the earlier presentations, if you're doing your job in your part of the world, and I'm doing my job in my part of the world, guess what? The planet Earth itself yeah. might slow its attitude on being gangster. Huh. Come on now, tell the truth. Huh? How's the world going? How's Earth going to be happy if we got all these wars, rumors of wars, gang violence in all our neighborhood? You expect Mother Nature to just shine every day. It ain't going to work like that. And, and, and the reason I put the manual up under regulator, mm. there are several reasons. And when I get back to the fourth one, you're going to understand. One reason I put the manual in, in here is because it has at least 60 footnotes of scripture. Because we all need instruction. Right. These instructions are in here for at least three reasons. Mm -hmm. One, to bear witness with what I'm saying. <coughs> One, to give the reader the wisdom and knowledge mm -hmm. of what God has to say about how he wants us to live and serve right. on this planet. Amen. And the third one is, we can talk about God all day. Talk about how good God is. But when it comes time to pick up the Bible, when it comes to Sunday to go to church, very few of us gonna do that. Very few of us gonna open the Bible and just read the scripture. Just one scripture in a week. Hmm. So this is the third reason that I put scriptures in here, and hopefully. The scriptures they read in here not only will give them instruction, not only to bear witness to what I have to say, but hopefully it'll lead them to the ultimate book mm. before they leave early. Amen. Yes. So, you know, uh, some of the books are in here. I call them books. People call them chapters. Mm -hmm. I wrote about the gangs, the gang members, the gang bangers, the gangsters. I wrote about racism. Gays and lesbians is a touchiest topic 
on the planet <laughs> to talk about. Come on now, tell the truth. People don't understand <laughs> someone else choosing to love someone of their own sex. Now we know what the Bible and God say, but right now, gays and lesbians, the mindset has become the norm of the way of life on this earth as we live it today. And if you don't like it, all you can do is pray for them. But we all are God's children. Mm -hmm. It's not for me to judge any of them. If I get shot and go to a hospital and Dr. Gate, I ain't going to say I want you to work. I'm going to say save me and give me some medication. <laughs> you know, so I wrote this book so we all can be on the same. See, we don't have nothing on this planet where the white man the Mexican man, the black man, the Asian guy, the Russian, the guy straight from Africa, from South America, where well, we all can just come together and just say, how you doing? Even in our own race, we don't do that. Mm. And that's why I wrote this book. This book created peace in life, empowerment of life because of what it's going to give a person. And the only reason we have this violence out here is because people are acting under their own knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know any book of instructions, you're not going to know much. Right. That's right. Well, anyway, I'd like to thank you, Angela. Thank you. I want to, you know, God bless you. God keep you. Praise to, God bless you. to you, brother, for giving that delivery message. Uh, my name is Clarence Allen. I'm the author of Regulate the Manual. You can go to regulatethemanual.com. You are in here. <laughs> That's right. How much are the others? Any, anybody tonight, $10. They know I'm going to be $20. But anybody tonight, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. And, and the thing is, did you stop it? No, I didn't stop it. Go, go ahead. You can stop it if you like.